Welcome back to the Gateway Center Arena. It's a Peach Sports Network. Man, I wish there would be. I wish that's a Atlanta, George. To the court, and she told me she rehabbed at least three to five times a week. Initially, they worked on strength of motion and mobility in her hand, and since the injury happened on her ball dominant hand, they had to work on ball shooting and handling drills. The dream included her in lifts as well. Then they worked on her conditioning as far as basketball movements, making her guard ball, getting up and down the court, plus getting Jordan on the scout team to get her wind under her this past couple of weeks. But just making sure Jordan Canada is involved as much as possible with this dream team. Great stuff, Anna. Thanks so much. And, and the game has already resumed. Middle, and, the the foul. Foul. and already. Got a review from Atlanta because Jordan Canada says, hey, I'm fouled. So the debut and also her first <laughs> circle of the finger saying, coach, I didn't do it. <laughs> so we'll see. If she's 1-0 and or 0-1, oh but what is challenge is very important with this game in the first quarter to call a challenge. We don't see that very often from a head coach. So that shows the faith that Tanisha Murray has in Jordan Canada. She's only played a couple minutes so far in this game, and already she says, I'm going to choose to trust my point guard in this position. But Tanisha Wright just happy Jordan Canada has a chance to get in this game. And right here, Stewie gets the ball back to Ionesca, who takes it in. And there you see Canada. And I didn't see much contact either. Her body was pretty separate by a couple feet from Ionescu. I think the first angle that they showed with the swipe, they assumed it was there, but I agree with you. I did not see the contact there, so this is a very big moment for the relationship. <laughs> <laughs> do I trust you yes, or do I we're doubt we're you right now, right? Now. <laughs> so we'll see what the officials will have to say. But it's such an important call because this will be number two on Canada. Picked up another one on Janeski before. And I think there's also a question of whether it was on Ariel Powers yes. or George Canada. And I would say that it's more on Powers than on Canada because of the contact, the closeness of it. And so with this, we see this in the Indiana game as well. What would happen is that the challenge will be right. And so they can keep their challenge and their timeout, but the officials can change who the foul is actually on. So Eric Drew, Jenna Renew, and Sarah Williams are on the call, and we're getting a little bit of clarification of what has taken place. So successful challenge that we just got word from with the referee. Atlanta will keep their next challenge. The basket will still count. Was successful challenge from Atlanta, so I guess the relationship is good between Tanisha Wright and Jordan Cannon so far. <laughs> this is a very nice thing to see Blossom, right? So we get to see that successful, but for New York, the basket does count, so Atlanta will get it back as if they made the basket and the 94 feet to go up the court. Naomi Doikic, very close to a steal in the back court. Mario Powers catches a break right here because Felix, or excuse me, Ivana, almost gets the steal but then dribbles out of bounds. And she thought that she could have gotten a foul on that one. The place is kind of a little packed today. Quick inside touch to shine in. A lot of bodies on. The inside, two on the shot clock. The attempt by Nas Hillman, no good. A shot clock violation for Atlanta. That will give them their first turnover of the ball game. That was our first turnover. Nas Hillman underneath. Nas Hillman just a little bit on the side with the post. Had three black jerseys around her. Got that one blocked. Sabrina goes left, 